Hi Gabra, this is Mrs. Garlock here. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through how to access Microsoft Teams using an iPad. Uh, if you're using a tablet, it will be very, very similar, just obviously a little bit different because it's not Apple, but you'll find the instructions and how it works are very similar. If you are using a desktop or a laptop to access Microsoft Teams, please check out our other video to find instructions specific to doing that. If you're on an iPad like I am today, uh, you're going to first want to make sure that you have the Microsoft Teams app installed. That's going to work much better than trying to run it through your internet browser on your tablet. So in my case here, I already have it installed, but I'll show you how to find it. You're just going to want to come into the App Store. And when you're in the App Store, you're going to search for Microsoft Teams. You can see it's already coming up there for me. It's this one that looks like uh, the two people with the letter T over top of it. That's your Microsoft Teams there. If it's not already installed on your tablet or iPad, it will have a get button. I already have it, so it says open. So I'm just gonna hit open so that it opens it up for me. Uh, once I'm in here, you're gonna see that there's lots of choices. It looks really overwhelming, but just to access your class's video chats, we're just gonna walk you through all you're gonna to need to do to, to do that, and it's actually more simple than it looks. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to make sure in this bar along the bottom that says activity, chat, teams, assignments, and calendar, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've clicked on Teams. If you're in one of those other options, um, it's gonna kinda of lead you astray and lead you to some places that aren't going to be very helpful to finding your Teams or your classes video chat. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's highlighted on Teams just like mine is right now. Now once you're on Teams, you'll notice on the side that you've got a whole bunch of different options uh, for what teams or groups or classes you're part of. Uh, I'm part of a lot, so my sidebar here looks a little bit overwhelming and confusing. Yours likely won't look like this. You'll likely only have a couple of different choices that you can click on. Um, you, when you log in, are going to click on the one that your teacher specifically tells you. So for example, if you're a grade five student, there might be a team listed on the side here. So instead of saying Galbraith staff and music section two or music two section A, um, you might have an option that says all grade fives and you might have an option that says like Mr. Green's homeroom. You're gonna click on whichever one your teacher has told you to click on that day that will lead you to where your class is meeting. Once you've clicked on the one, so right now I'm in Music 2 Section A, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you just hit this general button. So if I switch back and forth between them, I just need to hit that general button to actually switch between the different ones. So there's general. Um, make sure at the top here where you see posts, files, and more, make sure that you're under posts. Um, if, you, if your teacher needs you to do anything above and beyond using Teams as a video call, then they will let you know specific instructions for how to access those different things. But for right now, make sure you're in posts. And you can see that I had a meeting today. It, uh, it only lasted eight seconds. I just did a little test to make sure it worked. But it, the meeting has ended. If there was a new meeting started, you would see that this uh, there'd be a new post underneath here and it would be kind of a bluish purplish color and it would say meeting started and there would be a button that says join now. You would click that join now button. Um, if it's the first time you've used Teams, it will ask for permission for your microphone and camera and you just have to allow that. And then once you hit that join now button, that's basically it. You're into the meeting. You should be able to see your teacher and your classmates. And, uh, and that will take care of it. So like I said, just make sure you're using it on the app version. Don't try to run it through uh, the browser that's on your tablet. Uh, one last thing, we've had some issues when people are using Microsoft Teams on their iPads about uh, they want a passcode. So the first time you sign in, you're gonna, it's gonna ask for your sign-in credentials. That's just your school email and password. But when you type that in, if you get an error message that says this app requires a passcode, it's just a security thing because it doesn't make you sign in with your email address and password every time you open the app. So Microsoft requires that your iPad has a passcode on it. So if you already have a passcode on your iPad when you first start it up, then it's no big deal, you're good to go. If you don't already have that, you're gonna to need to go into settings and you're gonna to need to set a passcode. If you need help with that, uh, you can Google it or you can contact me, Mrs. Garlock at the school and I can help walk you through the steps to put a passcode on there. Uh, that's basically it for accessing Microsoft Teams on an iPad. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and I'd be happy to help you out.